Good afternoon. I am decided to make another video, another hair crisis video. I made one yesterday about how I about caught my hair on fire by using an old blow dryer, being cheap. I'm like, oh, I can get a few more uses out of it. I don't need to replace it just yet. <laughs> like, I'll just be on the lookout for a good deal. <laughs> and then uh, when the stylist uh, told me that, you know, using an old blow dryer combined with um, combined with using this conditioner that I'm using right now. It's a leave-in conditioner. And it's funny because I looked at it again today and it has the words generic right across the top. <laughs> but I, I got it at Sally Beauty Supply because of the, the dried and damaged ends that I talked about on the first hair crisis video. And um, I did not realize that Products like this can contain silicone, and when you apply direct heat to them from a very hot, not, not blowing the right temperature of hair, it was probably way too hot, it literally fried my hair. I could smell it, and I saw little bits about the size of eyelashes just like flying like my shirt was covered in broken hairs. I almost cried. <laughs> and I had just um, gotten my stylist to kind of get rid of the, the ends that were already overstressed from um, the bleaching that I do. I do put my own highlights in. You can tell it's been a while. I've been avoiding it because I didn't want to overstress my hair. You should just focus on the roots. But of course, you know, I start thinking, oh, it, it all needs a lift. So I'll pull it down to the ends for the last 15 minutes and I end up overdoing it plus um, doing daily videos and wanting my hair to be perfect. I blow dry it smooth, but that was the action that actually fried my hair. And so now um, I'm not using my blow dryer. I got rid of that one and it's snowing. It's very cold today. I probably will not go out. So I am going to just deep condition my hair. Uh, I find this very soothing. Just applying the conditioner. I love the, the the swirl in the hair. It feels soft, but yeah, this piece, there's a piece here that's so crispy and damaged. Don't want to neglect this side. I noticed some of my hair is starting to grow back where I had been bald. <laughs> I was completely, my hairline had receded all the way back to here. And this is new growth that I've been doing with um, RTT. I'm not, <laughs> I say I have to be my own guinea pig because I'm afraid to promise somebody else hair growth and them not get it. So I, I'll just give it to myself. So I've been, <laughs> this, I'm still on my self healing journey as far as that goes. I do have a client tomorrow in Florida. She's actually another RTT graduate. So we're going to exchange sessions, which will be nice. I'm wondering if this is going to make my hair curly. I remember when I was little, I would have my mom braid my hair. Like the, this size of braids. Like the smaller, the better, because it gave the look of a perm. You know, that wavy. This is, I'm just worried more about conditioning my ends, but there's just something about twisting hair. It's soothing. I think that is something I've noticed people with a lot of anxiety, you know, fidget with their hair. And what I'm doing is intentional. I mean, I'm applying applying um, leave-in conditioner, which now I know is not good to mix with heat. I thought, oh, it's got a lubricant to silica. You know, I thought that it would was sealing my hair and protecting it, and that I, you know, getting closer would uh, wouldn't harm it. And I got too close, and it was like fried it. It'll take months to undo that damage. So I learned my lesson. I'm going to go to Sally Beauty Supply tomorrow. The weather's going to be nicer. I'll have a full day to kind of relax. I started strength training yesterday. Upper and lower body. It was a full body workout for 30 minutes. And then I went walking and tanning. So, And then I worked. But I was, I got sick at work. I don't know if it was from the working out or something I ate, but I was extremely nauseous and felt like I was going to throw up and had the headache and just 
I need to go to bed. Like, I can't do this. So I went home and went to bed at like 7. Slept till morning. Woke up feeling bad. And decided, well, just take care of yourself. And just in those simple acts of taking care of myself, I'm starting to feel better. But I still don't feel like leaving the house. <laughs> especially in this weather. So... The diner is closed today for spring break, so I have a extra day off, but I worked an extra day yesterday, so, or the day before, so I felt like I'll just take the day off and recuperate. I did a video about that earlier while I was in the hot tub. That's, you can always do that. Well, maybe not always, but. I seem to manage to get a hot tub session in every day. Whether I'm just relaxing for a few moments or I do a longer sweat today, I actually turn the heater off, which I realize that heater is on all the time because I want it hot and ready for me so I can get in whenever I want. But I, I could hear the sound of the motor and thought this, this poor engine needs to rest too. So I shut the engine off. <laughs> The heater part, uh, the heater stays on the jets. I don't even use the jets very often because I'm generally listening to the music and I can't hear it with the with the bubbles on. So it's generally more like just a big bathtub that I relax in. It's great for my shoulders, my neck, and for my core. Um, I do a lot of what I call V-sits, uh, kind of doing sit-ups and holding the pose like in the Pilates stance where your feet are pointed at that sharp angle, it's like this. And I noticed just before I got on here, before I got dressed, the the lines in my abdominals are showing. And I'm like, whoa, that's nice. Because <laughs> I had been activating them for, oh, a good 15, 20 minutes. I think I did about a 15 to 20 minute core strengthening which was really just about balance, just holding the pose, you know. The water can help. The water helps take some of the weight off, but not all of it. But it's working. It's I'm seeing definition in my abs that was not that prominent that long ago. So a lot of results you can see pretty immediately, but they also tend to fade. So that's why consistency is the most important thing, and that is... Uh, the consistent message in all my videos is about being consistent because that I feel has been my biggest obstacle in success in life is keeping up with things. I saw a Steve, Har a Steve Harvey infomercial and he was saying, once I start, I don't quit. And I thought, well, that's probably why he's so successful, you know, and why I'm not as successful as Steve Harvey because I tend to give up sometimes as fast as I start. Sometimes before I start, I give up talk myself out of it. I imagine the worst possible scenario, you know, oh, I better not do that. This could happen. So I think I've talked long enough, played with my hair long enough. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off and give it a watch. I will talk to you soon.